give us a little bit of insight here into why is kidney health such an important topic in the world of diabetes in particular? Yeah, so this is, this is a great question, uh, Cyrus. You know, when we talk about kidney health, the reason I love kidneys, and I've been doing this now for quite a long time, I finished my fellowship back in 2009 and have been working ever since at, uh, in Southern California. Now, kidney health, the reason it's such a big deal is because there are no symptoms, absolutely no symptoms. In fact, you won't have any symptoms until you get to the point of dialysis. So some people, they walk in and they feel a little tired and we check their kidney function and they have so much toxins in their blood and we have to start them on dialysis. Then there's other folks who start early. They might have itching going on. They might have some swelling in their legs going on. But those are things we can track. But the thing about kidney disease is the majority of kidney disease occurs because of things that we can prevent. And not only can we prevent, if we catch it, we can reverse, we can halt. So there's so much hope if you're one of these people out there who have kidney disease to be able to do something about it. So what are the biggest culprits? You have diabetes, diabetes, and diabetes. That's the one, two, and three. Then you have high blood pressure, and then you have to top it all off, you have obesity. Now, if you look at the world today, you'll find that the majority of diabetics are also hypertensive. The majority of diabetics are hypertensive and obese. So it's not like one, two, and three are separate. It's that these three things go together. And when they go together, they don't just affect kidneys. What we call heart disease is the same type of disease that happens everywhere else in the body. It's happening in your liver. It's happening in your kidneys. Your blood vessels are starting to get plaques formed in there. They're starting to get decreased. In kidneys, what happens is, as that happens, there's sort of this primitive reflex that occurs where all of a sudden there's increased pressure and increased blood trying to go into the kidneys. So if you look at a large tube, this is your blood vessels to the kidney. As I narrow the diameter, the speed at which the blood is going through actually increases. It's more pressure. That's all it is. And that pressure actually damages the inside of the kidneys. We call that intraglomerular hypertension. So maybe your blood pressure is normal on the outside when we check with the cuff, but inside your kidneys, it actually could be too much. And this is where, when we talk about kidney health, if you want to fix your kidneys, you want to fix your diabetes. If you want to fix your kidneys, you want to fix your weight, you want to fix your blood pressure. There's nothing magical about it. Now, of course, if you have an autoimmune condition or something else going on, the treatment is different. But even then, the same principles of eating a plant-based diet, of following lifestyle medicine, will still be the most important things you want to do. So let's go back and touch a little bit here on um, glomel glomelular hypertension, because this is really important. Um, explain this one more time in, in full detail so people can understand. You're, you're talking about blood vessels that feed the kidney can actually mm -hmm. become occluded over the course of time, which increases the pressure yeah. inside of those vessels. And then the net effect of that is that the pressure in the blood vessels inside of the kidney themselves can also increase. Is that right? Yeah, so what's happening is your big blood vessels lead to middle-sized blood vessels lead to tiny blood vessels as they feed into the kidneys. And the pressure inside all of them is increasing. And the reason the pressure is increasing is essentially hypertension or high blood pressure in the body stiffens your blood vessels. Having high cholesterol starts to lead to plaques building up in those blood vessels. So instead of being soft, flexible, open and closed, now they're becoming like lead pipes. They're rigid. As that happens, the pressure or the flow through those pipes increases. That creates an entire cascade reaction, which in very simple terms leads to scarring inside the kidneys. So remember, when we are born, roughly, we have about a million kidney cells in each kidney. The only thing that happens as we get older, and I know it sounds very doom and gloomish, but life is about moments. It's not about how long you live. But as you get older, only thing that happens is those kidney cells die. Our goal is to slow that rate down so we get to have a fulfilling life. We get to create all sorts of amazing memories. And then when we go, we don't go because of the fact that it was the kidneys. We go because it's our time. 